to the 13. Uh, but when you were very young, you had yeah. a heavenly visitation. Tell me about that. Sid, we lived on on Six Ruth Drive in Framingham. Sounds Maine. Jewish to me. It sounds Jewish. It was a real <laughs> Jewish area. Six Ruth Drive. And one night I went to bed, and I was it was I remember I was six years of age, and uh, while I was sleeping, I, I went and, and a six year old doesn't know these kind of things. Now looking back, I I figured it out. But I heard first of all my my um, a voice calling my name three times. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. And I was in like a big room with big columns, like a, 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 like a mansion. Hmm. And I would look around and I heard my voice and I said to myself, uh, that's not my dad. And the voice would say, that's the, that's the voice of your father. And I said, well, that's not my dad. He's in the next room. It doesn't sound like him. And the voice said again, that's the voice of your father. And I didn't understand what that was, but I remembered it all my life until when Jesus appeared to me in 1974 when I was 24 years of age. Well, let's take you back just a little bit. You're married, you're successful. What did you have? Did you have your own band or? Yeah, we worked in the Disney World area and um, uh, I graduated University of Central Florida in 1972 with a four year degree. And I was making more money in the, in the in working in the bands and, and we were real successful in, in the Orlando Disney area. So your wife is pregnant, she's expecting and you yeah. decide to leave her? Well, yeah, isn't that crazy? That's what she yeah. said. It's really crazy. She said, you know, it's it's one thing to, to, to people fall out of love, that happens, but mm -hmm. to not pay attention to your children, not care about them, something's wrong. And what was wrong was that uh, a guy in the band got involved in transcendental med meditation. And I didn't go to the courses, I don't wanna pay all that money, so I just bought the books on it. So I started, because I was looking for something, said something, there was something about life. I was 23, 24 years of age, making a lot of money, successful we owned our own home and, and but but life there was something missing in my life and i started looking and i wanted to find what that was and the more i got into the into the study of eastern religion and the occult kind of stuff i, I just became a different person and and we decided diane was expecting a baby in november of 1974 we decided that summer that when the baby came we would just leave and go our separate ways she turned me one day now now diane was saved when she was four years of age and was filled with the Spirit of God. And she said to me one day, she, but she was backslidden. She said she had to backslide to meet me. She said, get those books out of my house or I'm gonna burn them and send them back to hell where they came from. Well, as a Jew, I didn't. I so did you burn them? No, but I put them in the back of my car. You know, I didn't believe it, but I put them in the back of my car. I, mean, I put them in the trunk of my car, I got them out of the house. And, and uh, I remember that specifically. And 